In this review, we're going to be comparing the best virtualization software for macOS, the ultimate, ultimate challenge. In case you don't know, a virtual machine allows you to run other operating systems on your operating system. So over here, I've got VMware running Windows, Parallels running Windows, and I've got Linux down here, all on Mac friggin' OS. Amazing or what? Now you guys want to know which one's better and straight up. Parallels is two times faster at starting up. Three, two, one, go. Parallels was a lot faster to start up than VMware. It's also 10 times faster at shutting down than VMware. Parallels was a lot faster to suspend. Shutting down, yeah, Parallels was faster than VMware to shut down as well. However, <laughs> VMware is 50% faster at resuming a virtual machine than Parallels. However, it didn't respect the window location I left it in previously. Now the virtual machines I had running were set up with four cores and eight gigabytes of RAM. And I gotta say, VMware felt a lot more sluggish than Parallels. When I'm just typing in on the keyboard, the keys would appear a lot slower than in Parallels. Like using Chrome was slower. And regarding actual usage, so in Chrome, VMware first, it's very sluggish to be honest. Let's see, HTML5. Benchmark. I'm actually typing this in real time. It's just launching a bit slow. Just typing and it's running very slow. Whereas parallels. The letters seem to be typing a lot faster as I type. Browser bench. So let's just see maths 67 milliseconds maths 66 milliseconds so vmware was faster at maths date vmware was slower crypto vmware was slower control flow bit operations vmware was slower string operations parallels was faster yeah so generally parallels was faster in javascript however in benchmarks VMware did outperform Parallels in Geekbench, our favorite benchmark. It was around 10% faster than Parallels. Comparing the scores, we can see that VMware outpaced Parallels by around 7%. So AES was faster, LZMA was faster, JPEGs was faster. That being said, Parallels was faster in 7-zip compression and uncompression. And after the first run, we can see we get a rating of 317%. Now Parallels, Benchmark. And it's just, just ever so slightly faster, 320. And it was also a lot faster in networking. Yeah, it's about half the speed of Parallels to download. And yeah, look at that. 13 megabits per second on VMware and 22 megabits per second on Parallels. Launching Chrome and firing up a speed test, you can see that Parallels is two times faster than VMware. Why? I've got the same bandwidth going on. What's happening? Let me know. And in 3D, you start to notice the difference between the two systems. For example, Parallels actually allows you to use an external GPU to optimize the 3D performance. One interesting thing to note is that VMware doesn't utilize the eGPU at all. You can see that it's only using the DGPU of the MacBook Pro. So over here, you can see Parallels is running a lot smoother because it's actually using the eGPU to render the graphics on an external monitor. Okay, you're not gonna get the crazy scores as you do in bootcamp, but it is two times faster at rendering than VMware when you bump in an eGPU. Look at that graphic score, 16, almost 17,000, which gives Parallels the edge, only because it's utilizing the eGPU. Without eGPUs, the highest score I can get VMware was 6,600. However, Parallels, the highest I can get it was 8,900. It's a nice, nice difference there. Also, VMware did suffer from some rendering artifacts in some of the tests, so that's something to be aware of. And when you jump into the world of gaming, I know gaming on a virtual machine, a bit crazy, but you could actually get some games up and running on Parallels, whereas VMware, there's a lot of issues, OpenGL errors, all that kind of stuff. And I have to say, both of them were a bit limited because they only supported DirectX 10. DirectX 11, 12, out of the business. All right, it's not perfect, but it's still pretty cool. Guten Morgen. 
Optimization-wise, Parallels did use more CPU cycles than VMware, and it also used more memory, and it also used more energy. Regarding CPU usage, we can see that VMware is using up to about 250, 250%, that's two and a half cores, whereas Parallels is going all the way up to 280, so slightly more CPU usage. Memory, we can see Parallels is using two and a half gigabytes, whereas VMware is using a lot less. So, uh, energy usage, we can see Parallels is ever so slightly more, maybe 10, 20%. But features-wise, Parallels does give the option to actually tone it down. And it also gives the option to auto-pause the virtual machine when it's not in use. That is seriously cool. One of the cool features of Parallels, however, is that when you're not using it, it can automatically pause itself to reduce the amount of usage. So for example, over here, VMware is using 250%, whereas Parallels, it's using 0%. So if you're dipping in and out, between applications, Parallels is great and instantly resumes. You can also, in Parallels, configure the virtual machine to use less of the resources at a cost of performance, whereas VMware is pretty much unlimited. Regarding settings, Parallels seem to have way more options involved. However, VMware did provide the ability to use three gigabytes of graphics memory, whereas Parallels seem to be limited to two gigabytes. Also interestingly, for you firewall users out there, I personally have a firewall that blocks all my internet access attempts and I block parallels and it continues to run forever and ever and ever. I have a VMware, I find that every now and then it requires to phone home. And if I disallow it, it just refuses to launch. Both of them can make virtual machine copies from the other software's virtual machine. For example, in Parallels, you can make a clone of a VMware virtual machine and a VMware virtual machine can do the same for Parallels. However, I found that my VMware clone of Parallels had some audio driver issues, whereas the Parallels one worked out of the box. And also VMware refused to make a clone when Parallels was running and I had to shut down the virtual machine of Parallels in a special way using a command line. It requires you to quit Parallels. And when you do that, it will require you to shut down the machine in a special way. It just wouldn't do it out of the box, whereas Parallels are just happy as Larry. And finally, price. Parallels is actually slightly cheaper. So overall, I personally think Parallels has won this year's battle, but let me know what you think in the comments below. Yeah.